Number three, environmental crisis. Okay, so this comes from where Jesus was talking about there's going to be earthquakes and there's going to be uh, famines and there's other places in Revelation and Daniel where it talks about, you know, natural disasters. And so so a lot of people think from that that there, there are going to be just these terrible natural natural disasters and they're going to get worse and worse and worse. And that, you know, it's just, I mean, the earth is going to be basically just crumbling into little baby pieces by the time Jesus comes back. So, um and I know that it seems it can seem like if you just you're looking at your life, you know, your small little lifetime that you have. And if you compare, you know, your 30, 40, 50 years to the whole history of, of humanity, um, it seems like things have gotten a little bit worse. You know, we've had a lot of tornadoes the past couple of years. We've had this flooding in North Carolina. Um, you know, there's been some terrible things. There's been a lot of earthquakes. But if you look at the history of all humanity and you look at the, these kinds of natural disasters, honestly, they have not really increased. They have not really increased. And so here are the scriptures that people use to support this environmental crisis being a, a, a sign of the end times. Uh, this is from Isaiah. And it says, the earth is also defiled by its inhabitants, for they violated laws, altered statutes, and broke the everlasting covenant. Therefore, a curse devours the earth, and those who live on it suffer for their guilt. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth decrease in number, and few people are left. So my problem with using this as like an end times sign is that it's not true. Are we decreasing in number? Are there only a few people left? So maybe sometime in the future. Sure, but not right now. Okay, and the other one, there's two scriptures for this. One. This is from Revelation 11. And uh, it says, and the nations were enraged and your wrath came. So it's talking about God. Your wrath came and the time came for the dead to be judged and the time to reward your bond servants, the prophets and the saints and those who fear your name, the small and the great, and to destroy those who destroy the earth. So evidently at some point, God is going to destroy the people who just have destroyed the earth. Um, so in my opinion, that sounds more like a spiritual thing. People who have spiritually destroyed the earth or maybe, you know, so I don't know. So these are not scriptures that I picked out. So what I have done, just to remind you, I've gone through and I've found these lists that people say these are signs of the end times. And then I'm telling you the scriptures that they are using to support these signs of the end times, what they say are the signs.